the number of quadratic polynomial having zeros minus 5 and minus 3 is what it would be now try to find out by yourself how to do it so they are saying a quadratic polynomial you see in a quadratic polynomial how we find a zero we find x equal to um, x minus 1 in bracket x uh, minus 2 or x plus 2 equal to 0 then we say x equal to 1 or x equal to minus 2 isn't it and here what they said 0 is equal to minus 5 and minus 3 so in this particular question in this question x is what given x equal to minus 5 and and x equal to minus 3 so from this you get a x from this let's call it 1 and let's call it 2 from 1 and 2 you can get from here you can get is x let's bring this minus 3 this side x plus 3 equal to 0 let's have it as a bracket similarly from that you can get x plus 5 okay now let's multiply and find our polynomial so x into this thing this whole bracket and then 5 into that whole bracket so x into that bracket is x square plus 3x now 5 into that bracket will give us plus 5x and 5 3 15 plus 15 so that's our polynomial equal to 0 and that will give us x square plus 8x plus 15 equal to 0 in this question you get the 0 is equal to minus 5 and minus 3 but you know one thing if you multiply this whole thing with a 2 then also the answer will be same minus 5 and minus 3 and if you multiply with again 3 or any number number of polynomial you can make where zeros will be again x equal to minus 5 and minus 3 therefore you can have more than 3 or so many almost infinite number of polynomial with this question so more than 3 is correct answer